All right, then we're live. Sorry. <laughs> We're, we're live and we can hear you roll. Just so you know. Yep. Um, also, hey, back. <laughs> and hello, everybody. Um, welcome back uh, to Pathfinder Skull and Shackles, uh, where we left this uh, wonderful game last week. You guys had, uh, well, uh, had a surprisingly trouble free night had a rest um, uh, and readied yourselves after the uh, uh, troubles, trials and travails of the previous day, uh, the tribulations uh, of uh, life in Quent and uh, the regatta spinning up to pace uh, to see who leads the fleet into battle against the Rahadumi, the fleet of pirate captains uh, that do not wish to be under uh, the current, current Hurricane King. Um, after the, those various intrigues, uh, in the morning, amongst other things, uh, Captain Lactan Ayu, um, uh, a fairly straightforward, merciless killer of a pirate captain, uh, via Jiguan, challenged you and your crew to battle, to straightforward combat, um, to try and seemingly, from her perspective, uh, settle part of the regatta uh, before the Master of Gales, who seems to be providing a, presiding over, like, the official less backstabby? No, let's be honest, this could be just as backstabby. Um, the official part uh, of this uh, contest uh, even got here. Um, and uh, you, uh, well, you settled her clock uh, right enough. Um, she's, uh, she's currently dust. Um, but where we left it, Ham uh, had taken advantage of the sort of dramatic pause. Um, and my camera's just crashed, so I'm hoping my mic isn't going to in a second. Uh, <laughs> can you guys hear me? Okay, well, let's hope my camera comes back. Technology, eh? Who'd have it? Uh, come on. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, she tried basically uh, tried to settle that portion of the regatta before the Master of Gales even got here. You have killed her, and Ham was attempting to take up uh, sort of advantage of the dramatic pause in. Um, blade-related negotiations to convince the rest of her crew uh, that further violence wasn't necessary um, uh, and now that their captain was dead. And that's where we're picking up. More specifically, we're picking up with that, but also another thing happening. Um, Vatan is there, Jiguan's there, Sharkbait's there. Shark bait, and I'm gonna roll a check for Jaguan, um, because uh, Shark bait has a better view of this uh, than anybody else, and uh, Jaguan is slightly less engaged in um, danger than the rest of you. Shark bait, can you give me a perception check, please? Oh, yeah, no, Jiguan, Jiguan is uh, watching this conversation clearly, uh, and uh, because I'm rolling his dice, they're clearly horribly cursed. But uh, Sharkbait, specifically, at the beginning of this round, uh, out of the corner of your eye, uh, as you finish uh, tearing apart one of the twins um, and uh, begin turning back towards uh, the sort of main conflict going on over here, out of the corner of your eye, uh, to your left, uh, you notice here, like around here, moving fast towards the dockway uh, and the gangplanks of the dockway, a large, well, larger than large, a gargantuan dark shadow in the water. <laughs> on your turn potentially uh, but as a free as 
it is a but 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 uh on, on your turn uh it, that's entirely possible for you to do so but for now you have a free action do you think you like um uh zane is sort of staring at ham uh ham with his clawed arm outstretched uh do you think you'd shout anything out or do you think do you, would you not want to break the tension of this moment <laughs> Okay, um, in which case, uh, as uh, Shuckbait yells that, um, uh, Jiguan uh, doesn't see any such thing with a 16, and uh, Jesse is here. Hello. Welcome back. Hope you're okay. And that you can hear us. <laughs> uh, if you can't, then, well, fuck. <laughs> But for now, uh, so yeah, Shabby yells that out. Uh, Killer Zane uh, has been sort of looking at sh uh, between Ham's uh, outstretched claw and Ham's face, almost mesmerized. And Ham, he was he was beginning to lower his swords, but when he hears the shrill voice uh, cry cry out, uh, "We have company!" He raises the blades again, and a, a hard set comes across his visage. Give me a diplomacy check. Hmm. You see. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I'm glad you can hear us, Jaguar. Um Also, nice nice stealth check. It's it's a pity that that wasn't actually like a stealth check in the game or anything. Um, but uh, nice nice roll. Um, with a twenty four, Hammond, uh, you see indecision, indecision in in Zane's eyes, like a, a sort of hard set has come across his face. He's raised his blades, but they're almost defensive. Um, he doesn't say anything. You get the feeling he might delay to see what his companions do. Uh, but he doesn't say anything immediately. Speaking of his companions... Uh, hold on. And your perception modifier is... Uh, so, Smiling Ruth turns at Sharkbait's shout, spends a move action to peer past Sharkbait into the water, but she can't see anything with a 22, unfortunately. Um, so... Uh, she continues turning fully and uh, still smiling, the, the grin that she's been wearing all fight, almost like a rictus, um, takes careful aim at shark bait and fires a single shot. Uh, what's this do? As a standard action. Ooh, yes, okay. Um, as she takes very, very careful aim, um, shark bait, you feel like she is attacking you uh she she's targeting the weak points in your armor with this shot uh, she's using pinpoint targeting um so against this shot as a standard action um you will not gain any armor natural armor or shield bonuses to your armor class any other bonuses still apply no armor no shield uh, or uh, natural armor bonuses. She's targeting your weak point, man. It's glowing and everything. Uh, but she's only making a single shot. Uh, 
and then minus three because of deadly aim, so 25. Oh. The crossbow bolt flies through the air um, and strikes you for... Deadly aim. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, pretty sure you're not in point blank. You're not in point blank. She even if she steps. Um, so uh, you take fourteen points of magical piercing damage before any damage reduction. Sure. Um. Uh. <laughs> Uh, she, uh, still smiling, steps further into cover here, behind this barrel. Uh, the twins thinks, uh, one of the twins thinks this is some sort of, um, trick or feint, um, by you guys, because coming, coming from the direction that you guys came from, um, but her captain just got obliterated, so she sort of has put up a blade in front of Jiguan in a sort of defensive fashion as she sort of backed into the corner, uh, listening to what he had been saying previously. Uh, but she is going to delay for the moment. To after Jiguan. Uh, Fearless Darby, meanwhile, uh, heard what an enemy said previously um, and uh, in a uh, sort of a bold, some would say completely foolhardy voice, uh, calls out, um, Ah, uh, don't you worry, killer. We're gonna kill them all. I'm gonna throw a lightning bolt that's gonna fry her skull. And uh, throws a bolt of lightning at an enemy just before the beginning of his turn. An enemy. A lightning bolt zaps out of the cloud. Could you give me a reflex save, please? Thank you. Twenty-three is a pass. Uh, you don't have evasion, do you? I don't think. Okay. Yes. Yes. It, it's much better than taking all damage, uh, and because the uh, because the predator is not yet here, um, we are not in storm conditions. Uh, so uh, this is only going to do three d six damage halved. Lightning. So five, uh, six, six lightning damage after halving. Uh, immediately on completion of the spell. Right. Yep. That's right. Um, okay. So once per round thereafter. Okay. So he can't do another bolt this turn, but he doesn't have to spend a standard action this turn. So uh, still uh, like noticing you sort of dodge the bolt. Um, he carries on sort of uh, fiddling madly, uh, grinning, um, and is going to cast a different spell. So anyone who wants to, who has spellcraft ranks, can go ahead and give me a spellcraft check. Uh, he, he's, yeah. You were going to say what I was going to say. Carry on. <laughs> yes. Uh, every, every round thereafter, though, Call Lightning takes a standard action to throw another bolt of lightning. Uh, yeah, Ham Hammond doesn't... <laughs> I mean, he's casting magic, but you don't know what it is. He's doing it too fast. Um, Anemone, on the other hand, uh, he... Uh, hmm, I mean, you survived that. So, since you survived that, he's gonna go ahead and throw a different spell. Um, that I'm gonna need a 10-foot template for. So hold on just a sec. Uh, sound blast. Ten foot. Pretty sure that's ten foot burst. Close. 
each creature in the area. I didn't mention the area there, but okay. Sound burst. Ten foot radius spread. Right, okay. Yeah, that'll do. Um, so, uh, Ham and an enemy, um, with a flourish, uh, he slices his bow uh, across the viol, and a burst of uh, ringing cacophonous sound uh, rings out um, between you, um, blasting your ears. Uh, can both of you give me a fortitude save, please? Thank you all. Oof. Dear. Uh, do you have any other bonuses you wish to apply to that? Are you keeping that 15? Okay. That's no worries. And, uh, Ham, uh, fortitude save, please. Oof. Same question. Uh, adding any other applicable miscellaneous bonuses against the Nevocation Sonic spell? <laughs> they are not. Um, which means Fearless Darby uh, has rather pulled a fast one. Um, because uh, both an enemy and Ham take five points of Sonic damage, which is a piddling amount of Sonic damage, but more importantly, unfortunately, are stunned for one round. A 17 would pass. Can you... Ah! Is that, is that increasing your... Uh, uh, is that not increasing your fortitude save? Okay, in which case, yes. 17 will pass. Exactly. On the money. <laughs> uh... So is that a 70? <laughs> okay, right, okay, in which case, um, it's still bad, because an enemy, you are stunned! Um, uh, but Hammond, you are not stunned. Uh, both of you still take the five points of sonic damage, though the save doesn't do anything about that. Uh, pass or fail. Uh, DR doesn't, but if you've got sonic resistance, then that'll affect it. To be fair, most creatures don't. And my camera just crashed again. So today is apparently going to be a day of my camera crashing. Um, sorry about that, guys. Uh, and uh, thank you for banning that person in chat. Uh, yeah, so... Um, just uh, Hold on a second. So that was a standard action for him. Um, as a free action, he's going to carry on uh, Inspire Courage. Uh, and... As a move action, uh, as a five foot step, he's going to step here, and as a move action, he's going to kick the door open behind him, uh, because he gets the feeling he's going to need to run away soon. <laughs> or at least find some cover. Um, okay, uh, that still hasn't... Yeah, let's fix it again. Weird. Uh, Killer Zane delays. Ooh. So he is. H how long is he dazed for? Three three rounds? Nice. Okay, he's not dead. In which case, uh, uh, Ham, maybe, maybe you were talking to Zane and Hook, because Zane, uh, that's my bad, I forgot about that. Um, Zane looks dazed and still has electricity sort of crackling through him so he's clearly not going to be doing anything or listening to anybody for the next like few seconds do you think you'd be talking to hook as well yeah <laughs> 
I mean, that is normally true. Um, in, in this case, however, Zane is somewhat incapacitated by the electricity coursing through him. Um, Hook, meanwhile, grins and says, Oh, you know, I reckon I can take your big guy. Oh, well, you better get started then, otherwise I'm going to slit your gizzard. Oh, well, actually, I was just checking, and actually, though he's still dazed, he does still threaten. <laughs> you know, you, you'd think so too, but it's because it's not tied to whether or not you can actually take an attack of opportunity. You know, that's an interesting question, and were he not dazed, that might actually be the case, but because he's been dazed, I don't think he's heard anything about your diplomacy attempts. Also, have at ya, you fat bastard! He attempts to stab you. <laughs> that's just how it's gonna go, you know, sometimes you just have to. Um, but yes, unfortunately, he can still flank with Zane, uh, and indeed does so. Uh, with alacrity. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, so adding flank to this and then inspire courage. Good thing you're not stunned. How do you feel about... Wait. That's not two threatened criticals. Uh, about uh, a 39 and a threatened critical. Oh, fantastic. Does that mean they don't hit it? Okay. <laughs> Rolling to confirm the uh, second one. Uh, ooh, uh, 34? Yep, right. Your AC in mirror form. Yep. Gotta get you some wild armor at some point. Um, uh, so, uh, with... Once you got wild armor, you know that that's when it starts helping again. That, that that's that's what my my heavy armor druid did eventually. It was it's just it costs so much money. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Rip. Well, either way, um, unfortunately, Hook is taking advantage of your uh, slightly less than armored uh, big form um, and is uh, stabbing you a lot. Um, so, uh, he's doing a d4, plus 2 from Inspire Courage, plus 5d6 from Sneak Attack, plus 4 from Precise Strike on his first strike. So before any damage reduction, which does apply against all of his attacks from Righteous Might, uh, you're taking 30 uh, points of precision, piercing, magical, bullshit damage. So 25. Um, and then his second strike. Um, luckily, uh, most of his stuff doesn't multiply on a critical hit. Uh, so just rework that formula so it multiplies the stuff that multiplies. D4 plus D4. Plus 6 plus 4. And then from the crit. That didn't work properly. Hold on. Oh, I know why. <laughs> uh, well, well, what we'll do is we'll do d4 plus 2, and then multiply this by 2, so 8 plus 5d6 plus 4. Uh, so 28 before damage reduction on the crit. Uh, so 23 after damage reduction. And because, because this is an old AP, and this rogue is a scrub, uh, he can't apply a debilitating injury to you, unfortunately. Um, and then, yep, he takes 16 points of damage back uh, because of Bramble Armor, uh, although I feel like that was a more than fair exchange for him for a change. Um, so it's 12, and then, yeah, 22. Um, he, he's bleeding, but grinning having sort of poked two holes in you. 
Um, he, he's good where he is for the moment. Although that grin may well be very quickly taken off his face. Because uh, Shutbait, um, the shadow you saw um, that you were watching uh, until Ruth uh, fired the crossbow bolt into your shoulder, um, you notice it move again uh, swiftly. And then everybody sees a remarkable sight uh, emerge uh, with great rapidity, alacrity, and a large amount of, um, well, splash uh, from the water. Uh, over here. Yeah. Um, more specifically... See, you say that now, but part of the reason that it's such a surprising sight is because it emerges from the water glowing with a glowing with a purple aura. Sorry, go ahead. I haven't no. Does it involve it does it involve it flying with magic? Ah. <laughs> They can jump really high, and it's really cool. But this one isn't just jumping. Or rather, it is jumping out of the water. But it is covered in a glowing purple, like, sort of crackling aura. Its eyes are glowing purple as well. It roars at the top of its lungs as it beats its flippers and lashes its tail and seems to fly through the air. Uh, all it's doing this turn is uh, moving to there and bursting out of the water, roaring, glowing, flying. All of the pirates in Lactan's crew, even the dazed Zane, are sort of like staring at it for a moment. Even Hook like turns around, the grin sort of dropping off his face. Jiguan, what do you want to do? Also, hello, Jesse. We can't hear you if you're talking. Oh, was that him yawning? Um, with a knowledge nature of 10, that's a really big fish with lots of sharp teeth. Uh, more specifically, uh, hold on. Um, this enormous finned reptile has a long mouth full of sharp teeth and was previously moving through the water with incredible speed. Uh, when it moves through the air, it will also be moving through the air with incredible speed, but that's because of the magic rather than because of its abilities. I mean, I agree. I think it's pretty cool. Sorry, man. I didn't get. I, I didn't get that one. Ah. <laughs> uh... Nodding, like already starting to run. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. You make a good point. <laughs> Uh, so th this, like, start spot up here is 10 feet up. Um, this, uh, lowest stair is, like, up to, like, 3 or 4 feet up. Th this area is, like, 5 to 7 feet. Oh, that was the sound burst. Uh, that's gone now. No, no, it was an instantaneous effect, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, an enemy is swaying and seems stunned. Uh, Zane is uh, crackling and seems dazed. Ham got hit by it, but doesn't seem stunned. Uh, 
Speaking of which, uh, an enemy, I think you already dropped your sword, right? You do, yes. I had forgotten the rob was in your hand. Right. <laughs> You know what? Maybe your captain, bleeding out as he is, had a point. Maybe we should take a moment to deal with this giant monster before we resume murdering each other. Oh. Well, then. <laughs> I don't know if that option's still on the table, <laughs> he says, looking nervously at the man who's he's just stabbed repeatedly. <laughs> he looks like he's he looks like he's considering this. Uh, go ahead and give me a diplomacy roll. Go ahead and give me a diplomacy roll with a plus two circumstance modifier, because your halfling is actually pretty fluent now. Okay, yeah, with a 28, um, uh, he, he's sort of like, he looks like he's considering this favorably. Like, he, he can't do anything until his turn again, but, um, uh, he is lowering his weapon cautiously and sort of stepping away from both Ham and the Chronosaur. <laughs> sure. Yeah, makes sense. Um, getting ready to dodge. Uh, plus four to AC. <laughs> That's a politician's answer if I've ever heard one. Um... <laughs> sure. Uh, whirlwind attack. Acrobatics plus, okay, so tumbling back up the boxes away from this giant monster. Yep. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, the uh, twin of, the, the remaining twin of the twins uh, tumbles back up to uh, here, actually, stops for a moment, turns sees Sharkbait next to the pulled apart corpse of the other twin, spits, uh, gives a nod to Sharkbait, uh, and uh, sprints, uh, 30 got them there, 60 gets them to here, sprints this way, um, clearly like trying to flee the entire area, um, sheathing their sword uh, as part of their move. Uh, actually, no, they can't do that. Running with their sword. Um, uh, but uh, Sharkbait, you can give me a sense of motive roll if you want to. Uh, three teeth clock is n not dead but dying horribly. An enemy is unfortunately stunned this round. Uh, uh hmm. Sh oh, um, uh, maybe. <laughs> I think that's true. I don't think you're generally allowed to, but let me just check. Um, if it's there, if your movement isn't hampered, uh, drops everything. Can't take actions. Take a minus two penalty. Let me check something. Stun. Uh, no, not stun. Five foot step. Take five foot step. Miscellaneous action. Um, 
Not not an action, it's a miscellaneous action. That was what I was checking, as whether or not I was, I was right about that. It te apparently it is technically a miscellaneous action, so no, unfortunately not. Um, sorry. Uh, Vatan. Giant water dinosaur. Also, shark bait. Uh, with that 21, um, you get the distinct feeling that the twins, well, at least that twin, did not like this twin at all, and that they're glad they're dead. Yeah. Instead of, like, swearing a blood oath or uh, trying to murder you or anything, they just spit, look pleased that they're dead, nod to you like you've done them a service, and run the fuck away. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's like uh, Hook's uh, been stabbing, uh, Hook and Zane have been stabbing him, and that's been lowering the water content of his body. And then you hit him with the healing, and you increase the water level of his body again, and, and up and down, and up and down. <laughs> Well, I mean, in all fairness, my dear lady, I have an asshole, <laughs> but I'd like to think I'm... <laughs> I mean, you don't have to be nice to me. You just have to, uh, you know, not murder me. The dinosaur roars. <laughs> uh, Kronos only roars more in response to you and continues to glow with this unearthly, strange purple light. <laughs> um, it's not speaking Aquan or indeed any language at the moment. It's just roaring. Um, but uh, yes, uh, anything else but uh... <laughs> okay. Shark bait. I mean, if it helps, you might still race a boat today. We'll see. <laughs> um, Shabit, you just got shot in the shoulder um, by a person who's reloading their crossbow. You got acknowledged for murdering someone's twin. Um, and there's a giant flying sea dinosaur um, roaring a lot. What do you want to do? Okay. Well, Fearless Darby's good at roll spellcraft, so hold on. <laughs> if we're gonna be like that. Uh, do, 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 spellcraft. Sure. Okay, DC 19. Fearless Darby identifies your spell. What is your spell, ma'am? Ooh. 
Nasty. <laughs> Fearless Darby's eyes go wide, but he can't do anything about that. So, um, you fly down to there. Smiling Ruth, still smiling, begins to bring the crossbow round to try and shoot you. And are you going to try and deliver the touch? All right, give me a melee touch attack. Uh, is... Okay, uh, hold on. Let me read the spell. Um, with a touch, you cause an infestation of ravenous worms. So, it needs a touch attack. Yeah, so... A any spell uh, that has creature touched uh, against an unwilling target, you need to hit their AC with a with a touch attack. That's that's right, right? Pathfinder people who play Pathfinder, <laughs> that hits though, so don't worry about it. Um, they have to make a fortitude save every round. Um, uh, yeah. So, uh, you touch them right in the mouth. Um, Ruth screams as worms... Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> That's a fate worse than death, I think. Uh... Oh gods. O okay. Well, um you can use the screaming face for that. Uh yeah, so uh, smiling Ruth is uh, is thoroughly infested with ravenous uh Captain Ham-faced root ginger worms. Um and uh yeah, well go ahead and give her a fort save uh, against that. Um do, do, do. actually uh, it's every round f so it staggers for one round. Okay, I'm going to make those saves on her turn rather than on your turn because otherwise we're going to forget it on her turn. Um Yep. If it makes, then it's sickened rather than staggered and takes no damage. Yep. Uh, she's screaming, writhing, worms. Uh, anything else? Sure. Sure. Terrifying. <laughs> Ham! Same situation except now Smiling Ruth is infested with worms that look remarkably like you. What do you want to do? Mm -hmm. No. Fair. Rip hook. Um, Vatan, I presume you're providing flanking? <laughs> oh lord oh, Jesus Christ on a cracker well um, that's a hit <laughs> let me see how many hit points he has total he's taking 22 damage um, and he's one of those he's a rogue duelist okay 72 damage, huh? You smash him. Extremely hard. Into Vatan. And he sort of like does the uh, movie um, dramatic moment of like coughing a load of blood, like splurt spurting a load of blood out of his mouth. <laughs> um, as many of his ribs break. But actually he's not dead. <laughs> they are, yeah, amazingly. But they are clearly very badly wounded. Like, single digit hit points.
Hook, Hook is like almost on all four. Well, he's put his hands on his knees and is shaking his head like, no, we don't need to continue this. So like, no, please. Uh, the twins are running away. Smiling Ruth is screaming as worms crawl over her. Zane's still, st Zane's still, still dazed. Um, Darby looks like he is... Well, he he still looks fearless. Um, uh, he he looks like he's still gonna fight, but you think he might throw a bolt at you and then run away. So that was a standard action. <laughs> that's okay. That's all we're doing. The case grins at you madly. Uh, you have a move action. And a swift action. Okay. Okay. Smiling Ruth, before she does anything else, rolls a fort save against horrible, horrible worms. Okay, she's got plus 10, and then do you got any feats for fort saves? No, no, you do not. Oh, okay. Uh, what's the DC, uh, Shabby? E. Okay. Ah, so she's only sickened this round, um, but she's still got nine more rounds of it. Um, I mean, you can, you can make a, you can make a reroll if you want. She does. Um, and to her skill checks, which in this case are very important because she's going to try and tumble away from you. Um, but she doesn't have acrobatics, so this is going to be very very bad for her so minus two uh, he's got plus five decks so plus three total uh no, doesn't matter that it's a critical uh does a 23 equal to or beat your cmd okay Does an 11 beat your CMD? <laughs> I'm guessing no. <laughs> so uh, she provokes an attack of opportunity as she attempts to tumble away from you. Oh. Well, um... You, you're so angry that the, your rage is blinding you. And she ducks out of the way of the harpoon, or rather she more rides out of the way of the harpoon, covered in the worms. Um, uh, tumbles to here, uh, 15, because she wasn't taking the minus 10 penalty on that. Uh, that's a move action. Um, and then with a standard action, no longer smiling, still screaming about worms, um, she is going to pinpoint target you. Uh, uh, so again, uh, armor, natural armor, and shield bonuses don't apply against this shot. Go ahead. Yep, she's not staggered. Uh, it's, a, it's a standard action to make a single attack. Oh! Uh, she hits you, because your AC is 17 against this. But again, um, uh, with a, she's still only doing... Before damage reduction. So before damage reduction, she's doing 12 damage. Piercing. Magical. Oh, it might do. Let me check. Or you can check. No worries. Oh, she is using a crossbow, however. Uh, takes a minus two penalty on attack rolls, weapon damage rolls. Yep, it does. Um, so her aim is slightly off. Um, so 10 damage before damage reduction. Nice. Uh, so this time that the, the uh, 
uh, the crossbow bolt just kind of wings you. Um, she's still screaming, throwing up. The bolt goes wild. Um, and that's her turn. Uh, Darby, uh, true to his word, throws a lightning bolt at Ham. Ham, reflex save, please. <laughs> well, uh, sometimes in life, uh, we're called upon to do things we're completely unqualified for. Happens to me a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any electricity resistance? Uh, it conducts the electricity more. Um, you take 13 points of electricity damage. As my camera crashes again. Um, and uh, as you take 13 points of electricity damage, um, hmm... Uh, Darby uh, steps inside the tavern and kicks the door closed behind him to get that good, good total cover. Uh, with a flourish of, and good day! Uh, Zane is still dazed. Uh, for another... That's the second round of him being dazed, so he's still got one more round of being dazed. Um, dazing spell. So good. Uh, Hook, meanwhile, uh, doesn't want to die. So... Uh, where are you? Oh, uh, yes. Acrobatics. He's got that, he's got that, but he doesn't have anything that lets him move at more than half speed. Yeah, okay. So, taking the minus 10 penalty to be able to move at more than half speed, I think, yeah. Um, he is going to, so that's included, uh, try and tumble away from Ham, uh, Jaguan, and Vatan. So, adding two to the DC. Who, who's who got the highest CMD out of the three of you? Probably. I'm guessing Vatan, yeah? Yeah, okay, so adding adding four to that because of Ham and Jiguan's presence as well, uh, that was a DC 47 and he fails. Um, so uh, he is still mobile, his AC has gone up slightly um, against this attack, um, but he hasn't been able to activate many other things currently. Yeah, um, so uh, Ham, Jiguan and Vatan, uh, he provokes an attack of opportunity from all three of you, uh, if you wish to take it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Vatan, Vatan and Ham, you've got flank on him. Uh, sorry, say again, Howard? Yeah. Uh, you try, but unfortunately, that's not really a thing you can do, unfortunately. But you try. Um, it, it should be, and I think it probably is a thing you can do with the right feats, because that's Pathfinder, right? <laughs> Yeah, the exemplar thing. Mm. It's true. Um, fashion is danger. Um, with a 22, unfortunately, uh, Vatan, uh, you aren't able to hit Hook, um, but that's okay, because with a 35, uh, is that including flanking, Hammond? Okay. I, in which case, go ahead. Okay. That's all right. So a 24 gets closer, uh, but it is Ham who gets the kill shot in this instance uh, with another 75 damage. Uh, would you like Hook to be uh, a particularly pulped variety of uh, horrible meat paste? Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, okay, yeah. Um, uh, Vatan and Jiguan, give me a reflex save. Hmm. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, you shot Marvin! <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, um, Jiguan, uh, your cat-like reflexes save you from the worst of the splatter. Um, Vatan, you know, this is the thanks you get. This is the thanks you get for hosing down Ham with healing after healing, with more and more water. He splatters halfling blood and guts all over you. <laughs> um, I was gonna say you, you say you weren't convincing, but that's that's surprisingly convincing. <laughs> like like uh, Vatan, you can roll a sense motive against that. <laughs> you can think about. Okay, okay. <laughs> the, the, there's a small seed of doubt, though. Like, Ham genuinely looks sorry. Remarkably. <laughs> uh, are we getting some circumstance penalties here? I see. <laughs> I see. Uh, and she wasn't born yesterday. It's true. Um, so around about this point, um, the giant flying that should be swimming, um, Chronosaurus, uh, glowing purple, crackling with energy, decides to make its presence felt a little more directly. Uh, so hold on a second. Stats. Yeah. Uh, check some things. 55, 55, 80. Uh, hey, Jiguan! You know how you use total defense? That was a good, that... It's still a good call, because um, the the Cronus, uh, the Chronosaurus, roars, glows with energy, and uh, charges, <laughs> um, uh, flying through the air. Not that far, actually, because he's got a reach of twenty feet. Um, so to here, yep, um, and lunges forward, opening. Uh, its jaws to almost like a 170 degree angle and then attempting to snap them closed around you twisting its head as it does so you can see layer after layer of sharp teeth so its ac's gone down by two but its attack roll has gone up by two 38 to hit you did you already use black cat I mean, you're... Okay. Um, it hits you. Uh, 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 biting around you. Painfully. For 30... Wow, that's very consistent. Uh, for 38 points of piercing damage. Uh, and then... Does a 33 grapple you? Okay. Um, uh, it snaps its jaws closed around Jiguan, pulls Jiguan close, like, like throws him up into the air and grabs him again uh, and looks like, um, well, if Jiguan is still in that pickle next turn, it's going to try and swallow him. Jiguan. You have been grabbed, sir.
that kind of day, huh, Jesse? Um, well, you have a whole turn to do that, so would you like to do anything else aside from uh, surrender yourself to the sweet embrace of death? That's a free action. Okay, if you want to. You could uh, repeatedly stab it if you wanted to with your claws. Okay, um, you wriggle, um, but yes, that is too low, I am afraid. Uh, so that's a standard action. Uh, you have a move action if you can think of anything to do with it. Okay. Um, this twin that you convinced to run away stares at you, uh, Jiguan being tossed up into its jaws and runs faster. An enemy! At the top of the round, you're no longer stunned. Sure. All right. Okay. Um, give me a diplomacy check. Uh, yes, you do. Actually, in, uh, the, uh, the case of, uh, everybody aside from Fearless Darby, uh, on the other crew, uh, you will get that benefit. Yeah, yeah, so um, you get the impression that uh, when Ruth isn't dealing with fleshworms, if Sharkbait stops attacking Ruth, then she'll probably shoot Kronos. Uh, like, looks at you nodding furiously while still sort of trying to get the worms off. Get them off! Get them off! Um, Zane, meanwhile, still dazed, sort of ca catches you a glance, uh, an enemy, and uh, though you can see hatred in his eyes for you because you killed his captain right before him and threw a lightning bolt through him, uh, he sort of gives a begrudging and still slightly spasming nod, like, yeah, all right, this monster's worse than you for now, sort of thing. Okay, uh, you can step if you want to. Also, we lost Jesse. I know that was unfortunate with the Kronos, but... Um... 
No, we'll, we'll carry on until we get to his turn, but hopefully he'll be back. I only attacked him because it was the he was the nearest target. Um, uh, Vatan, it's your turn. Uh, I, let me just check. Um, uh, uh, yes, a 24 hits the dinosaur. <laughs> uh, you blasted in the side uh, and like a, a blow a hole in it. Um, it sort of gives a muffled roar, which, uh, twists, uh, Jiguan in its mouth, but it does not put Jiguan down. There's a talent, I think, called Flurry of Blasts, which lets you, but I don't know if you... Mm. Right, the one that lets you shoot multiple ranged blasts. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you want to move? Sure. Uh, okay. Uh, shark bait. Uh, she is screaming and crying and trying to get the worms off her. <laughs> Nods. Nods furiously, like, please get him off! Oh, God! I don't know if you can actually dismiss it. <laughs> like, let me, yeah, let, let. Oh, yeah, because it's like a, a. Oh, no, it is dismissible, though. Uh, you could spend a standard action to get rid of it. Oh no, wait, hang on. Uh yeah. Uh yeah, 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 yeah. So um so you could spend you say you so you could you could spend a standard action to get rid of it yourself, otherwise um someone has to cast protection from evil on them to negate the spell effects as long as the over uh, durations overlap, or dispel evil to get rid of it, but otherwise you can't get rid of it. Um but you can get rid of it if you want to, but it would take your standard action. Whether or not that's a a good action economy thing right now? I, I don't know. It depends on if you think Smiling Ruth can do more to the dinosaur than you can. <laughs> it's true. It, it, it is an investment. It is up to you. Uh, I don't... Ooh. Yeah, uh, they added some curse descriptor s stuff. I don't know if that's... Uh, is there convenient curses? Here we go. Blur, blur, blur. No, it's not, unfortunately. I'm sorry.
<laughs> the, the worm looks satisfied and crawls back into shark bait. Oh god! Oh god! Please! <laughs> <laughs> Nodding, crying. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't be too careful. Um, ham. Okay. Yeah, anyone who wants to can. Watch your casting. Hey. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, uh, spending the round casting it, uh, do you want to step? And what does it look like when you cast Call Lightning Storm? Sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> like sort of hesitantly speaking words of half form druidic that you know probably yeah, it's probably fine, right? The way that the storm is bulging and crackling alarmingly it probably isn't a problem. That's probably what it's meant to do, right? Right? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Uh, Smiling Ruth, no longer sickened, um, steps away from shark bait, still shuddering, um, with a five foot step, turns, points her crossbow, um, loading it very fast as she does so, um, and pinpoint targeting, takes aim at the Chronosaurus. It only misses on a one because of the combination of it being grappled and her ignoring its natural armor. Um, she hits, shoots it in the side near where, uh, on the other side where uh, Vatan uh, shot it uh, for 13 points of piercing damage. Once again, a muffled roar and uh, cry of pain from Jiguan as it grinds him uh, in its jaws, uh, but it does not let go. Five. Uh, Fearless Darby, meanwhile, um, there's a move action to move to the window, and then a standard action to be an asshole. Uh, Ham, give me a reflex save. <laughs> because another bolt of lightning forks out of the sky towards you. As you see the grinning madly Darby at the window, still playing his song. Uh, 12 points of electricity damage. For people's reference, Darby is over here. Yeah, <laughs> Darby uh, can beat you at any video game. Right? <laughs> Um, Zane, meanwhile, uh, spends his last round being dazed, but at the end of being dazed, as he shrugs it off finally, um, he, uh, growls. I'll fight with you against this beast. That's alright, he's a, he's a prat. <laughs> uh okay well at this point we kind of need your ground back um uh
We're just sending you a message. I think um, uh, what we'll do, uh, if it's alright with you guys, is we'll take the break a little earlier uh, here. Um, and uh, come back in 15 or so minutes, hopefully, with everybody here. Is that okay? Okay.